One of the issues that you might run into when you're first installing uh, StayLinked on your devices is that when you try to make the initial connection to your StayLink server, it might give you an error that looks vaguely like this. Code ESP0003. No, whatever your emulation is. Key map found for device, and that's going to give you the device type that's assigned by the StayLink software. The way this is resolved is by adding the keyboard map for that device onto your server. StayLink doesn't actually use the physical key presses the way a normal program would. Within StayLink, when you press a key, it gets converted into a six-digit key code that then gets translated on the server using a keyboard map. Now, in this case, I need the keyboard map for the XT15 CE6 underscore 36, and that last part tells me how many keys the device has. So all I do is, once I'm signed into my server, under emulation settings, I have keyboard maps. Now there are a lot more here in this list than you'll ever have to deal with, but if I want to add one, I just right click anywhere in the dead space and select add. That pulls up the selected keyboard. Now I want to go for manufacturer, mine is a Scion, and then I need to scroll all the way down and find an XT15 CE6 with 36 keys. There they are. Now I run 5250 emulation here, so I'm going to select that one. One of the things that you can check is when you hit OK, you want to make sure that this device type up in the top corner matches exactly what was set on the screen. If it does, then all you have to do is hit File, Save Changes. And now if we scroll down, there's my XT15 running CE6. Now if I go back to my device and show you the screen, and now I can establish a full connection because it has that keyboard map to translate my key presses. If you have any questions about the keyboard maps or how to get them onto your server, please feel free to contact our technical support at 714-918-7817 or you can email us at support at stay-linked.com.